So Strand is an independent bookstore. It's an 86-year-old small business. It's founded in 1927, and at the time, the area was called Book Row. There were 48 bookstores all along 4th Avenue from 14th Street to Astor Place, and today Strand is the sole survivor. I think what's allowed Strand to survive is that, first, we put the customer first. The customer is of the utmost importance to us, and really, we try and meet their needs as as best as possible. Strand has it all. I would like to think we have over two and a half million books in our store. I'd say we were a little late to the game in terms of getting into social media, but um, I don't think that's held us back in any way. We have a great following. We have a really loyal following. I'd say the dominant platform that's worked the best for us is Twitter. I think it's a really great way to engage with our customers and friends of the Strand in a really quick, seamless way. What I like about Twitter is that it really encourages you, if not forces you, to edit your words. And I think that's really important in crafting you know, a brand message. Each social platform that we have is an opportunity to engage with our customer or a friend of the Strand in a way that makes most sense to them. Some people are oral, so they might respond best to our YouTube page. Some are visual, and they might be most receptive to photos on Instagram. So we use different platforms um, as different means to reach our customer and engage with them in a way that makes most sense to them. So we have an ongoing partnership with Kate Spade, an international retailer. And this is a table of Kate Spade and Strand Picked books um, celebrating their 20th anniversary and they've really helped us grow our social media following. They have a very robust following, and we actually did a Facebook exclusive with them um, in regards to these infamous tote bags. And this has been another way for us to grow our following. If our analytics dashboard is to be taken at face value, our Facebook drives a lot of sales and a lot of visits to our website. I think that's in large part because we promote our events on Facebook, and they're all paid and ticketed events and very popular. We've had two events with James Franco and he has an incredible following on social media and anytime he posts an Instagram photo or a tweet about the Strand, we just get a massive bump in ticket sales. I'd say our social media audience is pretty reflective of our typical customer base, if we have a typical customer base. Um, our customers are very responsive to, say, our rare book posts. Sometimes I'll do a post on Facebook about a new book in the rare book room, say a signed Vonnegut, and those are very popular. And I think, you know, there's something to be said for looking beyond just the financial return. I think there's something to be said for just sheer engagement. So we really see it as a way to bridge a conversation. I think it's sort of presumptuous to say everybody's a customer because they're not. Some of them are just fans of the Strand, and as much as we'd like to say that everyone shops with us and everyone is a customer, I think there's something to be said for also reaching your peers in the book industry.